so welcome to this uh, existing overview of uh, Muji core simulation my name is Sanjay Hussain I'm a doctoral researcher in robotics and AI and uh, I'm going to give a introduction of uh, robotic simulation that is a Muji core simulation okay so it's a kind of uh, a physics based simulation where what you can do like uh, a couple of robot could be like manipulator the robot could be uh, a manipulator or a humanoid robot or drone or a any kind of bipedal robot so uh, these are the platforms where um, we can simulate the kind of robot actually so if you see that the first one is bipeds um, robot where, where you can have a look on this one so let me tell you about this one the first uh, so if you see that the interface of Mujoko, you will find a different kind of robot here. Okay, so this is the first one. And uh, if you want to simulate your robot in this uh, in, uh, in the simulation world, so just follow this process one by one. All right, and uh, if you have a look some some code, uh, you can see that the kind of uh, the code is given. And come to the main things of this. All right, yeah. So <clears throat> the second important aspect of uh, the simulation is we have a variety of humanoid robot. Okay. So the first one is Unitary G1 robot and uh, Unitary H1 robot, Robotics OP3, and these are uh, a three important robot like people are using uh, for the research actually. So if you talk about what is Mojoko simulations and so Mojiko short form is multi-joint dynamics with contact. It's a high performance physics engine designed for the robotics, machine learning, biomechanics. It's a unique feature. The first one is like uh, the first simulation. Second could be the flexibility of modeling and third is integration of machine learning models. So there are three imp important aspect of the simulation. The first is we can simulate any robot. And second, uh, we can model any any kind of uh, existing robot. And third, the integration of machine learning model. All right. And uh, if you uh, see the key uh, feature of uh, this simulation is the first one is uh, the physics accuracy. So this simulation uh, uh, has been built the consideration of the physics, their joint, their kinematics, their uh, dynamic analysis. So. Mujiko handle the swap and resist body dynamic, the contact and the friction with high pedalities. And uh, second could be uh, the define your robot, the physical structure like the joint, the actuators using different simple XML file. And third could be like uh, the cross platform support where Mujiko, uh, I mean, we, we can use uh, for, uh, I think uh, Mujiko is available for the Windows and Linux and you can also use for the Mac. So there are three so, uh, operating system where you can use this software. Come to uh, the fourth one that is a very, very important things like the extensive API uh, Mujiko is uh, going to provide that could be like, uh, you can integrate with the Python, C++, or any other software languages. So these are the key uh, factor for this uh, this robot, uh, this simulation uh, software. Come to the important thing like uh, how uh, uh, Mujoko, what kind of model Mujoko have? I've already told you we have a uh, bipeds, we have a humanoid robot, we have a quad rips, and we have a drone and manipulator. So if you talk about the uh, bipeds we have uh, agile robotics cases and if you talk about the humanoid we have a unit 3 g1 h1 robots and the boston dynamic spot and if you, if you if you see about the boston dynamic spot we have also the same robot in our lab so this is me and uh, i'm using this robot for, for my research and if i want like simulation of the boston dynamic sports i can do the things first in the simulation part then i can jump for uh, like uh, i can jump for uh, the actual robots which we are doing actually so it's a very uh, flexible for us our, our research <clears throat> for our research come to uh, the important aspect of uh, this robot also like we have <coughs> a drone simulation we have a manipulator 
in terms of manipulators the company like uh, if you see that these are the mani robotic man manipulators so these are the mobile <coughs> Uh, robot this, this one is uh, uh, made by the Google robot mostly they have a camera and if you see that recently Google has done a lot of work using VLM process like VLM model vision language model for this one and these are the robot uh, they can also walk and then they can take a decision like a hand or a, a manipulator so they have a dual facility so you can utilize this robot for your research all right and third one is that like Quartz reps, if you're talking about this one, like it's called Dog. So the couple of company who invested a lot of uh, technical things in, in making a dog. So these are the companies Unitree A1, Unitree Z01, and Unitree Z02. So any bot takes. Even Google has also made Google. Uh, um, Google has a VOVV, and uh, this one is very famous, Boston Dynamic. I'm using for for my research this one. Come to the important aspect of a robotic eye uh, is that is a gripper that is called in effector of any robot like uh, if you hand if you have a any kind of a robot so gripper is one of the important aspect like how you are grasping the things so first one is the sado robotica and uh, we we have a lot uh, we have a lot uh, we have a multiple kind of uh, a gripper also so you can use this gripper for your robot come to this one the arm robotic arm is a a key area of research so people are using for this one like uh, picking pick and place and you can do any any kind of work related to pick and place so the frank Imica robot is a, a a versatile robot it's a kind of open source robot so it has a two version Imica franker robot the first one now they have already built uh, that is a franca 3 robot so these are the kind of robot where you can uh, use this robot without buying it and uh, uh, get a feel of like what what they are doing in in actual so universal uh, robot is a, one of the leading company in this area the frank imika these are both a very good company for uh, for uh, like uh, building a robotic manipulator for for research for manufacturing application for any kind of uh, indus industrial application come to uh, other company like uh, kuka and funek these are the two uh, a very good company in terms of robotics we have this one lbr we have uh, u factories robot we have viper uh, x3 double zero having six degree of freedom uh, in, in robotic arm we have unitries and yes so we have a drone also and uh, we have some biomechanicals uh, robot like uh, the fruity fruit uh, fruit fly this one is that and apart from you, you can see you can see a lot of things actually so these are the uh, couple of robot if you are really interested in doing research like how you can get a feel of these robots so you can have a look this one they have everything actually come to uh, like they have a proper video of Frank I Mika they have a proper video of uh, each robot and their, their the code their MGX file and uh, these are the very good things for exploration they have Py Python simulation they have everything so I would suggest go one by one and have a look okay come to uh, the technical glimpse of uh, this software like how this software has built actually so uh, uh, i mean they are usually yeah, uh, we can utilize for this software for the reinforcement learning we can use the prototype building and we can use the biomechanics simulation also and uh, come to like uh, if you want to utilize the software so let's go one by one so here the modeling programming and referencing is there if you if you look the python so everything is there like how to install uh, install mojoko in, in case of python have a look here so they have a software for that and these are the softwares you can utilize for that and uh, yeah it, it go through the uh, documentation one by one everything is there so i think this uh, this is a very good software for learning in terms of robot you can build your own prototype you can do the research and real time integration of problem all right thanks for your time and uh, i'm closing uh, my uh, talk on this one i hope you like this one and yes